Hey everybody, what's up? Harad here with a brand new series for you. I'm going to introduce you guys to a game called Blasphemous. I um, honestly cannot remember where I've seen the trailer. Probably YouTube suggested it to me a while back. Um, but I knew from the trailer that i seen, I'm like, this is a game I want to play. And sometimes I don't really do my research, unfortunately. I didn't know this was a Kickstarter project. So sadly, I wasn't a backer, because either, like usual, A, I don't find out about it until it's too late, and I'm not sure if you can still back them if the project's released or not. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, they. Uh, this is from a company in Spain, I believe. Um, i trying to remember where this thing was at. I was looking at some information on the campaign from the... Uh, from the actual Kickstarter. Yeah, they're from Spain. So that's really neat. Um, they had an initial goal of $50,000 and they have reached up to $333,000 to uh, make this game come true. And that is so awesome. They've got almost 10,000 backers, which that's, that's just so sweet. Like, I love when people get together and they can make a passion project come true. Like, it's just so cool to see. And one day I would love to be a part of something like that somehow. Um, looking at their goals, like just scrolling down here, they only have one goal left. Um, stretch goals, I mean, and it is to reach $350,000 to get a survival mode, which makes it to where you fight countless waves of enemies in a closed dungeon, which that sounds pretty cool, and I guarantee you they'll get it. So, I mean, I'm assuming that means you can still donate, then I'm going to do that, then when I get paid, I'm going to donate to this. I mean, I bought the game, but I want to add more to it to be able to show them show my love but yeah um also forgive me i'm still sick um while recording so i probably don't sound the greatest i apologize um i'll be getting better soon though it's been almost over a week so i should be good here in a little bit but yeah you guys i'm super excited for this um just a few warnings um this game was very brutal so if you're not into gore this may not be your series and i get that that's totally okay i got other videos if you want to check those out if you're new um, you can check out some other stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to warn people, like, this is going to be a very, very grotesque game. And very dark. And I'm all about that life, because there's not too many games out there that re really go down this route. Um, and I know YouTube is not going to be a fan of this at all, because this is going against everything that they're like, Hey, we, uh, we don't want this stuff to be out there, because kids watch it and whatnot. And I get that. But for all of those of you that are here... And if you do enjoy gory stuff, then this might be a treat for you as well. Um, this is also a Castlevania or Metroidvania style game, which if you guys know me, you know I love that stuff. And uh, yeah, I say without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. I always remember too, I'm, I'm remembering, I always talk for like a good five or six minutes whenever I do the intro to this series. <laughs> so I'm going to remember to record for just a little bit longer. So, sorry for talking so long, you guys. Let's get this game started. I'm excited. Um, select Pilgrimage. We'll go to slot one, because, you know, this is, that just makes sense. Does anybody ever start on the second or third slot? Like, that would just be kind of weird. Because it automatically loads to the first one, so you just want to hit X. Oh. I claim the grievous miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Oh, no. your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my guilt once again. Uh. Oh. Is she a statue now? Was that a sacrifice? I don't understand what just happened. And also, I'm gonna, I'm in love with these graphics. Guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. 
sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Oh, um, and another warning. I tend to get a little angry at games like this, so apologies if I get <laughs> a little, a little uh, loud sometimes. <clears throat> it's always an adjustment. I was talking to my buddy about this. He doesn't play games like this, so he said it's hard for him to get used to the controls and whatnot. But when you go from a 3D game to a 2D side-scrolling game, it's always an adjustment because you're used to having that depth field where you can move around anyway. But on this, you're very limited to what you can do. Uh, oh, we're just going to get right on it. L1. Look. Whoa, uh, what just happened? Biliary? Is that right? Or biliary? <laughs> Some of these words are a little hard to read with the font. Um, press L1 to consume one of your biliary flasks and recover vitality. These concentrated... Interesting. I thought I was going to say concentrated. Concentrated flasks are refilled by kneeling in a pre... A pre deu, deu? Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. Okay, so it's like your flasks. Like, uh, it's like your Estus flask on Dark Souls. Which, that's another thing, too. This is supposed to be a Souls-like game, apparently. Um, a couple people that I watch play Souls are playing it right now. Um, Fighter PL and Prod are playing it. I'm not sure if Chase is going to check it out. I'm not sure if that's his kind of thing or not. Um, I think Lobos is playing it. But, yeah, this is, uh... I haven't watched anyone play it at all. I've just seen the trailer, so, like always... I'll let you know in the beginning of the series whether or not if it's a game I've played already or if it's a game that I haven't played because I kind of like doing it where it's a new one so we experience everything together. Okay, so find more flasks. Oh, it looks gorgeous. I hope you get a double jump or something. You guys know I'm about that double jump life. Okay, so you swipe left. No, just... Yeah, left or right. Huh, okay. Use D-pad. Oh yeah. There's always something. You're like, what is that? I want to get up there. Man, this graphics are amazing. I say I don't know if I've ever told you guys or not, but um, I upgraded my TV. Um, the TV's been the same for all my videos, which is a shame because like looking at it, it looks great, but when I record it through the PS4, it does not look the best for you guys. I don't know if this game will be affected by that or not. We'll see. Did it just say X? Oh, it's like, yeah, in case you don't know how to jump. Yep. Um, can I slide? Nope. Let's say, that'd be sweet. Um, down an X? Yeah, okay, we figured that out. Oh, R2 is slide. Oh, okay. Well, hold on, that makes me want to try something then. We go all don oh. <laughs> Let's say you go all Donkey Kong where you like slide down and then you jump. Oh. Okay, so there's a little weighted fall action. That's good to know. Alright, let's make some. I wish it was just down and X to slide, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to these buttons if R2 is my jam. Okay, it's just teaching you how to attack. Oh, this has got to be our shrine, I assume. Press triangle to rest at the pre do pre. I don't know how to pronounce this, you guys. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> Saving your game, refilling your health in flasks. Upon death, you will respawn at the last visited thingy. We're going to call it PD. How about that? There we go. Uh, visit, the last visited PD resting will cause enemies to respawn. Okay, yeah, so it is very much like Dark Souls. Yep. A little stab action. Oop. Oop. So far it's giving me a uh, assault. Oop. Oh, we're going to start with a battle? Oh boy. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, crap. I didn't realize I was taking damage from that. There we go. So you wanna... Alright, I got it. Get one in with Lewis's foot, slide underneath and get behind him. Oh, there we go. I even more in. Huh. Oh, crap. Got he. Oh, that was kind of intense. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't ready for a battle right out the gate. <sighs> Requiem Eternum. I probably pronounced that wrong. <gasps> Do I get to see the face? Oh, this is from the trailer. And he puts it on his head. Oh, God. That's nasty. Ugh. I do enjoy gore, but some things are still gross. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, the only natural thing to do after that is save. Boop. Chip chip. I didn't mean to do that. I wouldn't think a boss would come back, would it? I'd come back out and he's just laying there. Dude, that'll suck. Okay. I was like, please don't. <laughs> hmm. Up. Whoop. Up and square. Ah. Well, what's this do, though? You need the key of the chamber... Key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. That is the longest title for a key ever. Holy crap. Hey man, what's up? Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. Okay. I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Oh, so the main character can't talk. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. Okay. So, the grandma's church? It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. Okay. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Oh boy, that sounds like fun. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. That does not sound like fun. And the last one, at the end of the trail, carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral. In the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Okay. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. Then why? Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment 
or its forgiveness. So we just want to fill up the sword then? With thorns? You can check out the items you've found so far in your inventory while playing. Press options to keep it open. Or to open it. Why did I say keep it open? A uh, small gift from Deo Gracias, nailed into the effigy of the Twisted under the guard of your sword. The thorns arising from the miracle feed, miracle feed on sin and guilt, growing with the burden that its bearer carries. Ah, there's some lore? Sweet. Um, Brother Abbot, you know that I have been inscribed in this abbey since I was but a wee child. I have written about our church, our saints, and the miracle of the greatest pain. I must inform you that I have made the decision to leave, although I intend to continue writing. In these walls I cannot be a true witness of the works of the miracle. I need to appreciate with my own eyes your holy works. I will be a teller of the miracle wherever it takes me, rain, shine, or scorching sand under my bare feet. Is there more to it? Okay. Huh. So I wonder if we'll run into this brother Abbot. Okay, so we got relics, rosary beads, Quest items, mea culpa hearts, so it must be from bosses, prayers, abilities, and collectibles. Nice. And a map, yes. Hell yeah. And then you go to the options by pressing square. Okay, cool. Hopefully the game's not too loud, I didn't even, uh, we'll, we'll check the audio after this episode and see. I tried to turn down some of the volume, the master volume, so my voice isn't too deep. Yep. Yeah. Can I talk to him again? Hey, bud. Even a wise, penitent life. However, what I saw. Alright, cool. Same thing. Later, man. Thanks. Moving on up. Oh, okay. We got an enemy. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my. This bird. Hip. Hip. No? Okay, don't matter. Ow. Hey, yeah, don't want to run. Ooh, he's got a wheel. Press R1 to parry. This maneuver allows you to counter weak, uh, weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes. During a counter, press the square button at the moment of impact to perform a retribution, increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. So R1 and the square, got it. That didn't work. That didn't work. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Gotcha. So this timing's a little late, later than what I'm used to. Got it. Nope, don't got it. Oh, he was all red. That's weird. I mean, if these guys are just going to be silly and keep walking this way, we'll just go ahead and uh, swipe swipe. Your weakness is that I have the higher ground, Anakin. Which, oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, I knew it. What's this? Pick that up. You've acquired bear dot. All right, cool. Uh, in order to use this prayer, open the inventory. So it's a prayer. A uh, song that filled the air during the festivities of the Lost Village. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through the walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the penitent, penitent one. The ring of the lace shell horn used to precede this chant, but now only silence remains. Whether it rain, sun, or wind, may this land blessed be, blessed be. Whether walking in or in deep sleep, may this land blessed be. Whether by day or obscurity, may this land blessed be. Alright. Some interesting lore there. Um, equip a prayer in your inventory, then press L2 to invoke it. Prayers and some combat techniques use up fervor. Fervor? Fervor or fervor? Attack and execute enemies to fill up your fervor. fervor I can't talk. <laughs> fervor bar. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh. I like that. How do you heal again? Is it L1? 
There we go. Bit. Oh, hey, there's a new item. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to get up there. Wait. <laughs> wow, those guys have a lot of health. I'm really liking the music. It's giving me the f the creepy feels. Does it take to kill this dude again? Good lord. HP for days. Oh no. Oh no. Why do I keep doing that? Whoa. Got he. Ooh. This is going to take me a second to get used to because I'm used to, uh. What? I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah. Um, I'm used to Dark Souls where Perry's L2. Huh. Huh. Give me the baby. Oh no. You'll find caged children of the moonlight. You'll find them caged all over Swistodia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Hup, 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 hup. Can I just attack you? Alright. Oh man, jumped right on top of him. What a pleb. Heop. Oh. Oh no. That was stupid. That was so stupid. Oh man, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oh. Oh, oh man, he attacked way faster than I thought. Oh. 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 I can't get the R1 out in time uh, when I'm trying to, like, bash attack him after he does that to me. Oh man, I hope there's a save point. Uh oh. There is no answer to our plea. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back on those who wait. Oh, thank you, Lord. Albero. Yeah, I already figured that out. Thank you, though. Press uh, the middle button to open your mouth. Sweet. Well, you guys, um, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, what a hell of an intro. Like, I really, really am having fun so far. I mean, it's only the first episode, so it's not enough to determine whether or not... Um, if you really enjoy what you've seen. Because we haven't done a whole lot yet, I feel like, compared to what the game has to offer. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, I want to know if this is something you'd be interested in playing. If I remember correctly, it should be available on most consoles. I know it's on PC. Uh, PC, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PS4. So, hell yeah. I was worried it was like an exclusive. Because um, I saw the trailer for ps4 but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments is this something you're interested in um i definitely will play as much of the game as i can and keep it uploaded if uh you guys are wanting to see more of it because i'm gonna enjoy playing this game i can already tell but yeah let me know what you guys think um i appreciate anybody who stopped by to watch this video and i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you guys later Bye bye